St Williams provides a rehabilitation service for gentlemen following their brain injury or neurodegenerative um, diagnosis. So we provide rehabilitation from physiotherapists, from psychologists, from the OT team um, and the staff team. Signet St Williams is located in Darlington, um, in the Albert Hill area of Darlington. We have um, lots of amenities around and about. We have a couple of parks that the gentlemen go to. We have the Dolphin Centre, which is a leisure centre, um, which the gentlemen can access for swimming pools and also the local town. We're on a bus route into the local town of Darlington, which has got a range of shops and restaurants and cafes for them to go to. St Williams is a 12 bedded unit. Uh, we have two lounges, we have a gym, we have an OT suite. All the bedrooms here are en suite. Um, we have a treatment room, a clinic, um, we have an MDT room. So we have two gardens, we have one at the front and one at the back. Um, the front garden is all landscaped with um, a lovely lawn out there. So the rear garden has um, planters that the gentlemen can plant plants in during the summer time and they grow flowers and vegetables. And our gym's located in the back garden area as well. Yeah, they all have um, an acquired brain injury, which can be from a variety of causes. Most commonly it's traumatic, in other words, some sort of accident. But quite often it's other causes such as infection or uh, things like uh, degenerative disorders which um, damage the brain or sometimes brain tumours which damage the brain and lead to impairments of function as well as problems with mental health or changes in personality which affect the person's function. And so we try and rehabilitate both both the physical issues and the functional issues and also the uh, mental health issues if there are any. Quite often the most important part of the treatment is the getting the person to understand their impairments, to come to terms with their impairments. So it's often a very sudden event when you have an acquired brain injury. Um, they have to come to terms with that. They have to come to terms with the fact they can't do perhaps what they were able to do before. In other words, we, we're not here to necessarily do things for people, but to help people do things for themselves and to support them whilst they're learning those skills. So we have a multidisciplinary team here consisting of uh, psychiatry myself, occupational therapy, physiotherapy, speech and language therapy, nursing and psychology. So I oversee the activities here at Signet St Williams and we have a full therapeutic activity timetable which runs Monday to Sunday. The activities we look at are sort of board games through to um, independent living skills. So when we're using our board games in our one-to-one -one sessions or group sessions, we're looking at how we can help someone's cognitive ability. We also look at accessing the kitchen to do independent living skills. So it's helping the gentleman make pop drinks through to uh, planning and preparing a meal. As part of the external activities here at Signet St Williams, we have two sort of aspects of when we access the community. We have uh, vocational and recreational. So the vocational aspect, we look at the gentlemen are part of the rehabilitation pathway where potentially can go into work. So we'll have access to Darlington College and Headway also do um, a lot of work around transition back into the community. When we look at recreational, we've got access to our local health facilities, which is Darlington Dolphin Centre, where we've got access to recreational sports, sort of badminton, indoor football, the swimming, and there's a hydro pool. And then with recreational as well, we also have uh, local parks close by, which is South Park, which has a number of running routes. Um, also, you can do like, uh, miniature golf, um, walk around the lake. The physiotherapy support I provide at St Williams is identifying any potential issues that people might have like loss of balance or weakness and working with them to regain that function and if they're having difficulties with activities of daily living like washing themselves, dressing themselves, making a cup of tea, things like that, I identify specific issues within that activity and work with them to regain that and if they're very mobile and independent I work with them to promote physical fitness and physical wellness. So when the gentlemen first come to stay with us, I would meet with them, uh, probably talk with their carers and other professionals that they've been working with to understand a bit more about their personalities and their interests, likes, abilities before their injuries. And then I would do assessments with them, sometimes through observation, sometimes more formal assessments to understand any cognitive difficulties that they're experiencing. 
Once we've got that understanding, I'd be working with them on things like memory difficulties, attentional problems, sometimes behaviours that can be challenging for them. The aim of Signet St Williams is to support gentlemen with rehabilitation to enable them to go back to their homes or local communities, to enable them to go back to some kind of supported living or normal life following their injury. So we have quite high levels of interaction with our service users and with each other and um, in a way it's more like a large family than it is a hospital, although it is a hospital and has the uh, the functions of a hospital. I enjoy the fact that our service users do make quite significant improvements fairly quickly. And the team is really welcoming and kind and it's quite like a family here I would say. It's a small unit so you know everyone. The gentlemen that we have come in are very very complex which again it's, it's amazing to work with and just amazing seeing someone come in from their admission through to discharge. Mm -hmm.